Hey, what is up my PK peeps? So, did you know that Windows 10 and Windows 11 can check the performance of your hard drive or a solid state drive without you downloading any piece of software? Yeah, it's actually pretty good, pretty simple, and it can allow you to check to see if you got anything going on or anything that's wrong with the drive probably. So, I wanted to show you step by step and demonstrate this. Now there is another um, video that I have out that demonstrates on Crystal Disk Mark and Crystal Disk Info, which is a more in-depth test. So if you want to learn that one, go ahead and check out the video down below. But keep tune, or keep, keep tune, keep in tune, uh, just stay right here and uh, check this out. All right, so I had to start you off right here. Look at this, this is me looking at the monitor, but you're looking at the monitor and it's just looping. So you got monitor after monitor after monitor. It's kind of trippy looking. And if I zoom in, it takes the other ones a few seconds to zoom in and it keeps zooming in. And that is so cool. All right, let's get on with the show. Okay, so for our demonstration, we are going to type in down here at the search box, Windows 11, is what I'm using right now, but Windows 10, the search box will be over here more to your left. Just start typing in CMD or type in CMD. Come up here to where it says command prompt. We're gonna do a right click, run as administrator. And you have another prompt right here. Just click yes. And now you have Windows System 32. Now that should be your default. Uh, if it's the first time you're ever opening this. Now, if you've ever run another command, sometimes this will not be there. If that's the case, what you need to do is you just need to type, um, you know, CD space, and then take this whole thing right here, the backslash, or excuse me, take C, you want to take this whole thing right here, so you might be able to just copy it, I don't know. Yep, you can copy it, and basically you're just going to uh, hit enter and that's going to take you right back to where you need to be. So CD stands for um, change directory. So uh, if you had like something that said documents up here or something, uh, you just got to change the directory. So anyway, let's get on with it. Um, what we need to do is we need to type in winsat, so W-I-N-S-A-T, then space disk space dash drive and then another space and then we can check our oh let's just check our d drive and you can check your c drive your d whatever letter uh drive you have that you need to check that's where you put that letter right there and what we're going to do is we're going to hit enter and right down here, we are most concerned about the disk sequential reads and writes, one on top of the other there. So we have 6,949 megabytes per second, and we have 56, 53 megabytes per second. That is precisely where this should be running. Uh, I have some Western Digital um, uh, blacks in there uh, for... Uh, I don't know if they're the 700 series or the 800. I can't remember, but I know they're not the X, so they might be the 850s. Um, I just, I can't remember right now. So anyway, they're the Western Digital uh, Gen 4s, so that's a good sign right now. Now, if you wanted to check another drive, instead of typing it all in verbatim again, you can just hit your up arrow See how that just populated with your last command? Then just delete your last letter and type in C or whatever letter you want uh, to check the next one. So I think that was a pretty interesting uh, way of, and quick way of checking the status of your drive. So I think that that was pretty dang easy. Now, 
Being that that was so easy, again, Crystal Disk Mark and Crystal Disk Info is a much more in-depth and punishing test to your drive to make sure that it is good. And uh, it's just more checks, more info. You can see a lot of read and writes and uh, reallocated spaces and whether your drive is really going bad or not. Um, I believe the Crystal Disk Info is superior in that sense but this one is just a quick test on the fly uh you know maybe you couldn't um uh, you know download it because you're not online yet i don't know Wh whatever your reason is this was just a nice quick test to demonstrate that and another thing about the channel where it's just a little milestone coming up for me is i'm about to hit 1000 subscribers i also just passed 100 videos so again, these videos take a long time. I got to set up the camera and lighting every single time and I got to figure out the lighting's the same. It's, it's normally not exactly the same as the last video because I, I can't just leave these set up and leave the configuration. Every time I shut down these lights, the configuration gets lost because they're not like real expensive lights with some kind of memory module on them and it holds everything. So anyway, I'm babbling on. Uh, just thank you for um, about to hit 1,000 subscribers, and uh, hopefully by the time of this posting, I'll be even closer. And, uh, and yeah, so just thank you, everyone. So see you next time.